What up, tubers? You know what time it is. It's time for another draft here on Arena. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out cardkingdom.com slash Numot for all your magic card needs. Cube, cube, cube. What do we got for our pick one, pack one? I think it's realistically only between two cards. Give you a second. Pause the video. Think what the two cards could be. Did you come up with the answer? I'm thinking it's Misty Rainforest or, <coughs> excuse me, the Impetuous Loot Monger. Two mana heist is pretty good and 2-2 two -two first strike body. I mean, not irrelevant in the early game. Green slash blue fetch always going to be good or at least should normally be good in the decks that I like drafting. Eh, man, I hate heist. That's the thing, though. It's so good, it's pretty hard to pass it, you know? And the thing is, fetches are actually pretty easy to pick up because people are still undervaluing them, so I'll take the damn stupid sexy heister. And I guess I'll just follow that up with another pretty good red card, Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Mm, decent pack here. Pyro's good, Vista's good, Adeline's good, Commit to Memory's fun, Sapphire Collector, very good if you can, though draft around it a little bit, or rather just draft a deck that I normally draft. Um, some fetchable lands, solid removal. Easy fable there for me, though. I mean, I suppose I could just keep, keep taking good red cards. Chandra's another really excellent card. I don't plan on going mono red or anything, and in fact, the, all the red cards I've taken, assuming I also take the Chandra here, are good in non-aggressive decks as well, you know? Yeah, I think that makes the most sense, though. Just keep with it. Okay, some more decent red cards if we want to. Glory and Town Raiser Tyrant. Um... I mean, I guess. Again, I'm not particularly looking to draft mono red. I prefer not to draft aggro strategies, uh, aggro strategies in cube generally, unless I'm just trying to shake things up. But similar, Glorybringer also good outside of some aggressive mono red build. <sighs> But maybe I just go with it. Maybe I just take Magda now. Maybe I am just going to be a mono red drafter this time. You know what? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Legion War Boss now. Over Rabbit Battery, pretty easy. There are a lot of good red white cards we're splashing for. So taking some of the red white lands on a kind of a hedge it aren't bad. But hate seeing a Midnight Clock go around seventh pick. Uh, what is this? Bone? Yeah. Oh man, flooded strand here too. Yeah, like I said, the fetch is just still not getting their uh, respect, and this is a blue one at that. Do I want the bony boy or do I want the nemesis? I'd rather take the cheaper creature. A five and a six drop already are top end enough for me. Mutavault's great if we're mono red. What's the wording on this? So we can like shoot our own uh, screaming nemesis with Chandra to ping something. Right? We can turn the Chandra minus X into one that can hit players. It's kind of funny. How many good red one drops are there in this cube? Bomat Courier. Actually, why can't I add it? I mean, we passed the Grim Lava Mancer, but that one's just okay. I can't actually think of too many good red one drops. Usually the one drops you want are in white. And there is a Sacred Foundry here if we wanted to take that now. That's not bad. Hell Rider is also pretty good, though. 
I think I'm just gonna stick to mono. Like there's a uh, war leader's call or whatever it's called. I think that is probably going to end up wheeling, but we'll just ignore that and stick with red. Yeah, a lot of our creatures have haste. Hasty, 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 kind of hasty. Uh, yeah, seasoned pyro here, pretty easy. Sapphire collector could be okay, but I think generally pyro is going to be better. Oh, I should probably keep note of free black-red fixing if we see it. Just in case we see a Grenzo, naturally. Mm, probably not playing any of those. Yeah, there's the War Leader's Call as expected, but we'll just take the Tyrant, no problem. Okay, not too shabby. <clears throat> what does this one do again? Makes a potentially big creature and then can make more big creatures. There's the battery on the wheel. Oh, there's one of the one drops. I mean, we're going to play it now for sure. At this rate, we'll end up getting a, a two pack deck pretty easily. All right, last pick, Tribal Flames. Won't be running that one, though, of course. Okay, pack two. Well, we're not going to be wheeling anything out of this pack. That's unfortunate, but first pick adversary is fine, though I don't actually have a single instant or sorcery besides that Tribal Flames, which we're not going to be playing. Well, that's kind of funny. Yeah, it'll be nice to get some, uh, or at least a couple pieces of burn that go face. Yeah, I probably wouldn't run the Roaring Furnace if it came back around. Okay. Kind of a dead pack there for me. Wow. Another pretty dead pack. There is a Bloodbraid Elf, which wouldn't be a crazy bad splash. There's also a Metamorph, but I don't think that's good enough. Yeah, I gotta take the spite, just a little bit of interaction. I mean a lot of my creatures interact in some variety, but or some way, but Yeesh. <clears throat> Not the first couple picks we were hoping for. And again, man. Anguish recollection's probably fine. Foundry is probably like okay. Maul and Ruby Collector are super juicy, but yeah, again, I think I just stick to my guns. <laughs> Not a single red card. Holy crap. There's another uh, heist card here, though. Crucius, Showdown. Mm, 
both Crucius and Showdown are worthy of splashes. Lutri. All right, well, that's a free one, at least. <laughs> Though, again, really bad in my deck, as I only have two total instants and sorceries currently, but what can you do? It's a free card. All right, there we go. Oh, seventh pick, Lightning Bolt. Okay, so maybe... Oh, there's another one drop, actually. Maybe... There weren't just that many red cards open, because if we're seeing a 7th pick Lightning Bolt, that's kind of a weird sign for red. Huh. That's strange. Yeah, maybe these packs just had really shallow amounts of red in them. I mean, that has to be what happened, right? Soul Shredder I've actually been pretty impressed with. 2-2 two, two Haste Vehicle. Crew is only one, uh, but it just keeps getting bigger and bigger, and it can come back. All right, there is our initial pack. Yeah, I'm not playing Roaring Furnace. Poor Time Warp. Metamorph. Again, don't think I'll be playing this one. So what are we looking for? Our creature curve, I think, is good enough. Yeah, it's just kind of the burn spells. We have Bolt, Spite. Like getting like a Stoke the Flames would be really nice. What else? Royal Eruption. I mean, even Lightning Strike would be really, really fine. Let's see, we're at 16 playable cards right now. That's not count, counting loot tree, but that lives in our sideboard anyways. I think a lot of those packs weren't going to give us any potential wheels. I mean, the Wall of Skyclaves is really good, but like I said, I think I'm just going to stick to the uh, stick to the uh, red for now. Okay, Pillar of Flame came back. There you go. And pack number three. There's a Jewel Mine Overseer. That's a fun one. But Phoenix, Conscripts, and Carnistor are all pretty good. So which one would I prefer here? Usually I take Conscripts, and I think I'm just going to do that. So many times when I play Mono Red with Conscripts, you just have this as your top end card, and either you steal their one big creature for the turn and kill them, or you steal like a Planeswalker or something. Just a really nice ability. Dragon Rage Channeler. Yeah, again, not particularly good in our deck. There's some Bloodstained Mire I could take instead. Mire and Wheel the Dragon Rage. But then what value would the Mire have in our deck? None. Negligible Thinning. I guess there's a stone coil serpent I could consider. Wouldn't take the dissection tools. Uh, I mean, I guess if I take Meyer and wield a channeler, then that's a, a land for channelers. Delirium that could get there. Sure, not a good pick either way. Light up the stage, lightning strike, Bomat Courier. I would imagine Bomat Courier wheels. So I think I'll just go with the Lightning Strike here. A Braid versus Terror of the Peaks. Mm. It's another decent top-end card. I think it's worse in Mono Red than something like Red Green, but... Yeah, I think I'll take the Abraid. Just keep upping our Instant Sorcery count. That puts us to 6 overall. 
Well, there's a nice one. Chandra, Strangle, Play With Fire, Stormseeker, all very good. Take the Planeswalker, see if we can wheel one of the hey, other cards. Here. Damn. Uh, we just passed Gr Torrential Gear Hulk, by the way, so somebody's going to get Opus with it. Goldspan and Robber are both also nice. I think I take the cheaper threat here. I don't know why, but I don't like Dragonwing Glider. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a 5-mana 4-4 four, four Flying Haste. I just don't... I don't know why. I just don't like it. But it's absolutely a playable card, you know? God, I almost want to cut the big Chandra. Like, shave some of the top end and maybe run, like, 16 lands. Uh, we're not going to be running Lynx. Probably. Sadly, we're not running Key. Okay, all those red cards did come back around. Let's go with the Phoenix. Dragon Rage did come back. Did it make the cut? We're at 13. So 10 non-creature spells to trigger it. I mean, I think I'd rather play Dragon Rage than Chandra. So strange to cut Chandra, though, here. But yeah, like I said, I kind of want to keep my curve real low. There's the bow mat. Good. I guess the Meyer now has uh, utility for collecting evidence. Oh, no, that doesn't matter. Never mind. Stormseeker's pretty good. I think that's better than Nemesis. I mean, oh, man, second to last pick, Opus. I never... Uh, I think you could go either way. I think you could run 16 or 17 here. Especially since Mutavault's one of your lands. What would be my worst card? Probably the Channeler. Let me get the Lutri. All right, this is just fine. Fine mono red. Nothing exciting, but you got to change it up every once in a while. So let's see if we can beat some people down. Win the, lot, win the die roll a lot. Okay, round one. We are on the play, and the hand looks good. It is a reverse Lutri match, huh? Let's go ahead and thin immediately here. We don't need a Muta Vault turn one because we're going to be playing the Robber turn two. Oh, this might be a very quick game then. Is that a Swamp? Okay, blue-black. Oh, they gain three life off of that one. That's brutal. What do we hit a drown this time? Yeah, them being on the draw made the lonely end insanely good. All right, they can kill the Bowmat, but I can then the finish mysteries. off the Liliana with the Muta Vault. Mm, sorry, I'm not familiar. Yeah, I mean, this is still anybody's game. I had the yearly pressure, but they had a couple of good pieces of cheap interaction all of a sudden, you know. They're still at 16 as well, so. Oh, they did just miss a land drop there for what that's worth. Uh, 
Okay. Not a very good counter target, but hey, it is what it is. Damn, we are stealing a lot of garbage lands off the top of their library. Make me discard a card. All right. Let's see, so I can anguish here. Draw two non-land cards. Two, four, six. Oh yeah, notably Mutavault is a dwarf too. That's funny. Okay. All right, we'll take it. They stumbled on land and our continuous cheap aggressive pressure was good enough. Um, I'm not proud of myself, but it's what we came to do. Sometimes you come to just uh, play ball. Okay, good hand on the draw here. Scalding Tarn, turn one. Fetch priority is yours, my friend. All right, hollowed fountain. Stoneforge, uh-oh. Dissection tools incoming. Oh, cryptic. That's not that bad. Uh, yeah, let's just get robbing. Let's see. I'll go for pillar. They'll activate cryptic or er, stoneforge in response. Okay, they have four cards in their hand, and we're going to shred. Swords? It's wildly unfortunate. Cheap interaction is cheating, my friend. Oh, wow. That was a really... Bad block, right? They had an unblockable life linker? That was weird. Uh, I'll take it though. Maybe they figured I had likely another burn spell or something? I mean, that was. That cannot have been right versus a mono red deck to throw away your life linker like that. Let's see. Don't have enough in my graveyard yet. Well, actually, let's go like this. We get to Impetuous Discarding Phoenix, which is pretty nice. 
good value there. Luris, huh? Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, I'm going to kill that one way or another, so. Oh! Oh, it's just spell pierce. Sorry, that isn't as bad. Yeah, I mean, they're starting to stabilize. No doubt about it. Possible I'm not supposed to let them connive here, but it's probably okay. A discarded blade splicer? That is also terrifying. What on earth? If their play is just bounce and replay cryptic. Okay, that's really good. I'm probably gonna make an all-out attack this next turn. So we go land, animate vault. Start her off by pinging them for six. All right. <laughs> so they're going to two with this. Magda, not so good. Okay. We're just closer to some more other lethal damage. We lost the pillar and strike. To fairy. Uh, they're drawing instead of tucking. I mean, technically. Well, now with the abrade, they're technically dead, right? Uh, it doesn't make sense to bestow here. I think we just go to combat. Go for it. We get at least a trigger of the robber. Okay. Lion Sash the hit. So they'll go eat, eat, trade. Yeah, we're falling behind. They ever forget about Detectives Phoenix, though. Could be a little bit awkward for them. But now with the virtue of loyalty, they also get to... Uh, no time for a break. Attack and put me on a quick clock if they want to. Yeah. Because this untaps the creatures, right? 
All right. Oh boy. Not what we were looking for. Get to bounce their coat. Oh, they're not bouncing coat, so they have a cheap counter. Yikes, we're really falling behind here. I guess I might as well flash this in in response. Yeah, if they have a counter in their hand, there's nothing I can do about it. That's good beats. Good stabilize by them. There's probably a slightly better way I could have played this game to maybe have gotten there. Oh, man. I need them to counter this. For some reason. Or tap out here for some reason. Alright, I have to go for it now and hope they don't have a cheap threat. Or cheap, cheap counter, rather. Hard counter. Have to be like counter spell or something, right? <gasps> oh no! It's plotted! So I don't get to cast it and we just die. Because plot is only during your turn. Wow! If that's all they had, that's crazy. I needed to draw it one turn earlier. Yeah, because remember, plot you can only cast during your turn. Yeah, they got us. Jeez, good beats. Plot of, be yeah, plot of cards cast on a sorcery. And on a turn later, so I couldn't have main phased the bolt. They plot it, I couldn't cast it that same turn regardless. Oof. What could I have done there differently? I'm sure there were a couple of small things. Hmm. Hard to say. GG's. I think I like the play the way I played for the most part. Another loot tree. We're on the play. Sand looks decent. I don't really like loot mongering on turn two, but. I need to have something on turn two, so. Black, white, Lutri land. Hmm. Uh. Okay. I'll pitch the adversary. That seems like my worst card. Yeah, all of those are kind of mid-tier, aren't they? Ooh, another tap lands real good. Let's get the war boss online and start making free creatures, I think. Sure, the Aven. Uh, that's bad, but it's not the end of the world. As I will be able to get the thief online for as a blocker. So let's see, I'm going to take their scream there, so it's their only real removal spell. Wow, actually their deck looks extremely beatable for us. And like if they're attacking with the Aven hoping to hit something, then that's one blocker gone as well. Yeah, we are, I think, in really good shape. 
They might also like Mockingbird my Lootmonger. Yeah. Love it. And then hope to hit a cheap counter. They don't have a second blue, or uh, not cheap counter, cheap uh, removal, rather. If they hit a one-drop spell, then they get to cast it into Unable to Scream. That'd be really good. Kill the war boss. Well, I'm not sure why they're killing the loot monger. That's strange. Okay. Oh, sure. Wow. They drew very well there. Nice on them. Um... Go like this. Say go, and then I can lightning strike Lutri next turn. All right, use the map and pray they hit an island, I guess. Flats. Well, that probably finds an untapped blue source if they have, a, like, a hollowed fountain or something. No, nothing. Okay. <laughs> so let's go strike, lutriate. Kill both of the non-Aven creatures. And then attack with everything. They get to eat the loot tree, but they take 7 damage. I'm letting them hit me with the Aven here, of course. But I don't think there's too much that they could hit off of my deck that would be relevant. Because they would have to lose a blocker to maybe find a removal spell to kill a different one, right? Oh, they're just going to go God and pass. Oh, they're dead on board, so I guess that works too. This is all just gratuitous. <laughs> okay, two and one. On the draw, womp womp. Hand is a keeper though. Need to find something to do between turn one and four, but okay, that's a good start. So now we just need to find a two drop. Ah, or they give me a bolt target for next turn. That works too. Always bolt the bird. Even if it is an artifact bird. Ah, everybody, see? Stupid heist. Well, the problem now is that if they do cast the card they steal with Avon, Chandra will not be able to kill the Avon anymore. So we're hoping they just hit a random creature and then cast something else that's already in their hand.
Stupid sexy heist. Oh, this game would have been fine too if we were on the play and then I'd be able to Chandra the Aven on the turn it came down. Damn it. Ah, they stole another heist card. Ah, so brutal. Man, heist is such a buzzkill. It's crazy. Okay, let's go like this. Do you have spell pierce? <laughs> All right, we're dead. I scoop. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. F heist, man. Two and two. Let's get three more wins at least before we call it a day, because that is not great. This hand, I think, is a mulligan. We can do better. Well, I would not say this was better. Yeah, I think I go to five. <laughs> okay, the Pyromancer can help get us back into this one, I think. As such, I'm going to lose the battery. And I will pitch... Yeah, I'll pitch a land here. I'm running 17, so I should be able to find a land in the first few draw steps. The reverse mono red, but we're on the draw. That, again, is so bad. <sighs> okay, red, white, even worse. Well, this is what I get for forcing mono red, I guess. And they have the cleave to grab, too. Disgusting. I have to attack. Can't block. But this is a turn three cleave. Hit me for four, I guess. That is a weird play. Huh. That's a very weird play. I'm actually going to go with Pyro here. Discard Phoenix and Boss. I mean, I guess they have a Mana Tithe in their hand, maybe? Sacred Foundry Mana Tithe? Okay. No, well, they did have Sacred Foundry, but... Ooh. All right, if they cleave, I get to trade with the pyro. I mean, again, on the bright side, I think they're playing this a little bit suboptimally. But we are still behind here, no doubt. Professional face breaker, okay. I think I kill the face breaker. Attack. They're going to kill Chandra anyways. Oh. How are they making all these trades? What is going on? If I math correctly, I have lethal here. <laughs> I don't know what they were doing. Wow. i pretty sure we were not supposed to win that game, but we'll take it. Okay.
I I have nothing to say. We're three and two. Let's hope we can win a couple more. That should have definitely been a loss. So I'm looking to five, right? Okay. No! On the draw again. Man. Not rolling well with the play versus draws. How many stone forges do I have to play against two? Is that three or four in a row or something? Cryptic. Well, I don't bother killing the stone forge now. The punish is if they have a different equipment, but the abrade would still be able to deal with like dissection tools or whatever. If that's what it was, you know. Uh, I think we're always blocking there. It's generous of them. My opponents are making generous plays. I'll put it that way. All right, they get another bat. Uh, ah. Bro, I cannot. Seriously? So if I Chandra minus, they get to just kill the Chandra. But using a braid plus spite seems really weak. Dude, that's like the third Aven and the third or fourth Stoneforge in a row, right? What the heck is going on here? Oh, I know, the mono, the red-white we played beforehand didn't have Aven, but, I mean, it had the Stoneforge. Crazy, dude. This is a waste of my time. Absolute crazy. What is the ward on this again? Two. I mean, if they have the counter, they have the counter. Nothing you can do about it. The decision to kill a bat or not, probably no. Just smack in. Okay, more birdies. I think the one thing I might be afraid of is the Hall of Storm Giants on the battlefield. Ooh. Whoa. Well, now I can copy the glory bringer, perhaps. Ah, hovership reflection, sure, that's fine. Oh, right! Toughness, five or less. And the ossification, okay, well, there goes my board. I need to kill the uh, cryptic coat before they can pay for the bounce. I'm going to trade off my Muta Vault here for face down, or at least attempt to. What the? Okay, I'm at six. Wow, that's actually kind of tough. Are two cards from my library random better than one guaranteed spell from theirs? Yeah, I think it is. I think theirs is better, that is to say. Well, that wasn't that good. But it is a lifelinker. Mm. 
Now, notably, if they kill it or bounce it, they get it back, so. Okay. They must have something else. Ah, Snapcaster Path. So I'm dead to them drawing any creature. Yeah, we're pretty screwed here. I think, once again, this is just play versus draw advantage. If we're on the play, I think this is pretty easy. I don't have to make a terrible play just to get rid of the Aven. Good beats. I mean, we got a freebie, so I guess I can't complain, but hmm, kind of unfortunate. We played against the same things multiple times, and we lost just way too many die rolls. So, that's magic, baby. Sucks to suck, I guess. <laughs> All right, friends. Thanks for watching. A little look at some aggro here in the uh, Arena Cube. I do want to say, though, I think white is generally the best go-to aggro strategy um, in any of the cubes, really, in Vintage Cube or whatever. Mono Red's good. But I think white is generally better if you're going to force uh, an aggressive strategy. So until next time, my friends, thanks for watching. Bye.